Ralph was never farther than a stone's throw from the sea, much like here now in Miami. It's to the point where people almost take it for granted, knowing at least something about boating, something about fishing, and the ocean in general. It's ingrained in our culture here. The same was for the people living on the New York shoreline. I was within easy reach of the South Street wharves, which were a forest of masts. South of Wall Street, the Clippers lay, with their jib booms rigged in so as to not poke windows out of the warehouses across the street. The spicy tang of strange eastern merchandise mingled with whiffs of tar and strong tobacco. And here I spent almost every pleasant holiday making friends with shipkeepers and mates and coming home with rigging tar much in evidence. Whether this environment or the inheritance from Ralph Middleton, John Stone, and other seamen among my people had the greater influence, <laughs> we need not argue. In any case, it was soon evident that nothing could hold my interest long or effectively unless it was closely connected with the sea. Ralph Monroe. So that's how he was drawn to being a mariner. How was I drawn to acting? I remember my dad and uncle making me do voices to prank call people just to pass time. Maybe that's how it started. I remember performing and acting out jokes for them and my brothers. I realized then I liked performing and entertaining people. What was my first role in front of an audience other than my immediate family? I played the Cuban forefather and hero Jose Martin. I'll never forget the exhilaration just before I got on stage. I'll never forget the sound of thundering applause 